Welcome back guys. Moving on to more expressions to simplify here. So starting with number one, we got 12x in brackets to the power of negative 2 times y all over x to the negative 1 y squared and that's all to the power of 3. So how would we go about this? So multiple ways to do this. We could take this 12x, bring it down to the denominator, right? Because this is a negative exponent and then we would change that to a positive exponent. Um, but I'm actually probably just going to distribute the exponent inside this bracket just because I feel like if we bring this down, there's going to be more going on in the denominator. So let's keep these separate for now. So when I distribute this exponent inside the bracket, everything has to go to the power of this negative 2. So this 12 is going to be to the power of negative 2. x is going to be to the power of negative 2. Then we have the y still left as is. And then I'm going to distribute this 3 inside this bracket. So x to the negative 1 goes to the power of 3, and then y squared goes to the power of 3. Right, so from here, um, what I'm going to do is notice that both of these are negative exponents. So I'm going to take these and I'm going to bring them down. So I'm just going to be left with a y up top, and I'll have 12 squared, x squared, right? This x to the negative 2 comes down becomes x to the power of positive 2, and then this 12 to the negative 2 came down, it became 12 to the power of positive 2. This here we multiply, so this would be x negative 3, and this would be y to the 6. And then this x to the negative 3 I'm going to bring up because it's a negative exponent. So I'll have x cubed y, right, that y is still there, all over. Now 12 squared is 144, let's just write that. And then we have x squared y to the 6. And then what is this going to simplify to? Well, nothing can simplify with the 144. So that will definitely still be there. There's three x's up top, two x's on the bottom, meaning that there's going to be one x left up top. And there's one y at the top and six y's on the bottom, meaning that there's going to be five y's left after we um, cross out one of the y's. So one minus six gives us negative five y to the negative five. You bring that down to the denominator. And then three minus two is one. So that's like x to the power of one. And that stays up top. 144 can't do anything else with that. So that there is your final answer to number one. And then uh, number two, um, here I'm just going to distribute this exponent and that exponent inside both brackets. So x to the negative four, this x is going to be squared, right? And then this y to the negative one is going to be squared. And then I'll have y to the three all over this x to the negative 5 will be squared, this y will be squared, x to the negative 3, and then this is y squared, like that. So from here, um, we got x to the negative 4, x squared, y to the negative 2, y to the 3, all over x to the negative 10, y to the 4, x to the negative 3 and then y squared. Now notice from here you could have simplified these two, right? They have the same base. Um, but I like to first make sure that everything is distributed and then I like to go from there. So what I do at this point is I look for any negative exponents and then I just flip them. So this x to the negative 4, this y to the negative 2, that's going to come down to the denominator this x to the negative 10 and this x to the negative 3, that's going to come up to the numerator. So this comes up, that'll be x to the 10. This comes up, that'll be x to the 3. And then this x squared is still up there. And then this y to the 3 is still up there. All over, this is going to come down, this is going to come down. So we'll have x to the 4, y squared. And then this y to the 4 is still there. And then that y squared is still there. So continuing this up here, um, notice all of these 
same base, so we could add the exponents. 10 plus 3 plus 2 gives us 15, so we'll have x to the 15, this y to the power of 3 will still be there, all over um, this x to the 4, nothing else, has a base of x in the denominator, and then these all have the same base, so we could add the exponents. So 2 plus 4 plus 2 gives us what? y to the 8. And then from here, pretty easy to simplify. There's 15 x's at the top, 4 x's on the bottom, meaning that there are 11 x's left at the top. 3 y's at the top, 8 y's at the bottom. After we cancel out, we're left with 5 y's at the bottom. So that there is the final answer for number 2.